Hi everybody, Steve Bergen here, and under the Larry Bird doll is my iPad, and I'm going to teach you an important multi-finger gesture that involves changing from one application to the other. What you might know, but most people don't, is that when you open an application, for example, I'm opening the calendar here, and when I open it, it loads the calendar into RAM so that when I close it, it's still open, but it's not really closed. It's still in the RAM chip. Again, opening an app, and then when you close it, either by using five fingers or the home button, it doesn't remove it from RAM. It's still in the computer's RAM memory. Therefore, any apps that have been opened by me in the last... 24 hours or 24 days that haven't closed, I can get to the next one by taking four or five fingers and swiping to the left or the right. You see now I'm in my notes program. Click again. Now I'm in a metronome guitar program. Swipe again. Now I'm in Puppet Pals. And each time you swipe to the left or the right, you're changing from one program to the other. Hope you got that. Four fingers or five, four is all you need. You click on it and you just swipe to the left, right? And book publishers are beginning to do the same thing with books. So watch how this works. Let's say I'm reading Mindstorms and I'm reading the book. And it's interesting. And there's a chapter on mathophobia, the fear of learning. If I take this and I swipe it like this, what happens is another book comes into prominence. Same thing. If I open up to whatever chapter, whatever page in this book, and I swipe it either to the left or the right, another book, sometimes there's a time delay, comes into prominence. Okay? And this way you can read a book, swipe it, and go to another book. All right, signing off. Hope this helps. Bye.